Derek, like I mentioned, clearly the Ghanaian market is really heating up. 6.8% last week, and I hear a lot of that was due to activities in the financial services space. Yes, indeed. Um, the financial sector really was buoyant last week. Um, the financial stocks index registered a 10.4% increase um, in just one week. And much of the, the uh, sentiment in there was due to Standard Chartered Bank. Um, the stock recorded a massive 45% appreciation in just one week. Right. And it moved to become the fifth best performing stock um, on the Ghana Stock Exchange due to that. And of course, today we're seeing the market also up, I believe. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of bullish sentiment on the market, especially again from Standard Chartered Bank. Um, there's been a lot of demand for this um, stock because of the bonus share issue that was announced um, about two weeks ago. Um, a lot of investors have been waiting for um, the bonus issue from Standard Chartered Bank. And finally, the bank has given a qualifying date and um, a, a bonus share issue date as well. So um, investors are very um, optimistic about getting um, some of the stock in Standard Chartered do you think this bull run will, will carry on to the end of this week, though, or do you think we might see some profit taking? We begin to see that in Nigeria, of course, um, you probably know that the market rallied significantly in the third quarter for Nigeria. Now we're beginning to see that um, bull run ease a little bit. What's the story in Accra, and what, what's your thoughts on where we see the market this week? Well, I believe that the bullish run will, will taper, um, not towards the end of this week, but perhaps in the next two weeks. Right. Um, this is because um, the standard chartered um, bonus issue that I talked about earlier yeah. is expected to, um, to be issued um, in Friday, um, and we expect that the market will taper or there will be some profit taking following that, and this will cause the market to decline. But um, experiencing it this week, um, I don't believe so. Um, we are looking from next week and then the weeks after that, that we believe that there will be some decline. What are your thoughts on foreign investor interest in the Ghana Stock Exchange? Um, clearly, in Nigeria, the market is dominated by, by foreign investors. At least that we've seen that change in the dynamic over the last three years. But what's the story in Accra? Um, well, um, there's a, 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 it's the same with Nigeria. Um, a lot of uh, uh, the investors that participate in the stock market here in Ghana are foreigners, and indeed they have shown a um, significant appetite for Ghanaian stocks in mm. the past few um, years. But um, the decline or the recession in the foreign in the foreign countries, especially in Europe, has hit us hard in terms of um, non-resident foreign investment here. You see a lot of profit taken in certain stocks, and um, you realize that it, they don't even go in, in tandem with um, fundamentals. And this is mainly because of the foreign investors um, cashing out due to the recessions and the um, bad economy in their, in their areas. Right. Well, let's move on to the CD. I think that's another interesting story. I think a lot of good news coming out of Ghana this last week. Um, the CD continuing to strengthen, and I'm hearing that's really on the back of the strong demand we're seeing for the Ghanaian bonds. Yeah. Um, we had a very successful bond auction um, that saw over 150% subscription. Um, the government of Ghana was looking for just 500 million, and instead we saw over 1.7 billion Ghana CD in subscription. So in the end, the uh, government of Ghana took in our 1.4 billion CDs. And you realize most, about 80% of the participation was from foreign investors. Right. And um, this is because our interest rates are quite attractive. Um, the fundamentals in Ghana, the economy is quite stable and um, they see a lot of in light of the Fitch ratings as well they see a lot of prospects in Ghana so mm. there's a lot of foreign investor appetite for Ghanaian bonds as well and and when are we likely to see another major bond issue I, I know that that was the three-year 21 percent sounds like a great yield and of course as the CD continues to strengthen I think foreign investors cannot be more pleased yeah, um, I think the next bond issue, I'm not so certain on it. Um, it's a five-year bond issue. I don't know if it's, um, I'm not so keen on it. I don't know if it's slated for December or next year. Mm. But as far as I know, this is um, the, one of the biggest subscriptions that we've experienced in the past couple of months. Right. Well, and what do you think will be the impact of that on the city? I mean, it's, it's really, really rebounded significantly over the last few weeks. Do you think it can strengthen further going into the end of the year? Yeah, um, traditionally with the CD, what has happened is that there's a lot of um, pressure on the CD towards the end of the year. This is because um, there are a lot of 
uh, ahead of the Christmas festivities, there's a lot of imports. That, right. um, so P, in, in merchants seem to look for more dollars in, in, in regards to the city. Um, but with this time around, because of the um, timely intervention of the bond auction, which was um, largely participated by foreign investors, you tend to have more offshore dollar inflow into Ghana, bolstering the supply of dollar on the market. So you realize that um, instead of the traditional CD depreciating towards the end of the year, we see some appreciation this time around. Right. Um, that notwithstanding, we believe that the CD will come under some pressure in the last few weeks towards the end of the year, um, very, du- um, very much due to um, a lot of Christmas facility spending. Derek, of course, the whole world will be watching those um, elections in the U.S. tomorrow. I know Ghana, of course, has their elections in December. And uh, ahead of that, what's the, how are the financial markets preparing for that, if you like? Um, well, with, the fin- with regards to the Ghana um, December election, um, we, we expect that the market will react to it significantly by um, having a bit of profit taken because of apprehension. African politics is, as much as we believe Ghana is a democratic state and everything will be peaceful and fair, um, it's still in Africa and everybody's a bit apprehensive when it comes to African elections. Mm. So we, uh, we expect that the stock market will reha- react a bit apprehensively um, mm. in, in those weeks, but we believe that that is going to bounce back. Um, with regards to the um, uh, elections in the United States, um, most of the activity so far has been due to has been largely due to um, uh, local investors who have been who have been demanding more of the stocks. So I don't believe that. Um, what is happening in the U.S. will have um, significant impact on the Ghana Stock Exchange, especially in the short term.